New York. Several CERN alumni went on to create their startups and companies in the flourishing business environment offered by the Big Apple. Today, we're meeting Stefano Buono, who was at CERN from 1992 to 2002, and as a young fellow, worked with the Nobel laureate Carlo Rubia. Maybe the best emotion has been when I started to work with Carlo Rubia, so the early days of this research, because we thought we could change the world, and I think that one day the world will be changed because of this idea. I don't know when, but I know uh, that it will happen. Stefano's success story started in CERN in 1992, when he became a CERN fellow after his master's degree in physics at the University of Torino in Italy. After his fellowship, Stefano joined the team of Nobel laureate Carlo Rubia to participate in the TARC experiment. The group uh, created a patent that had an application in nuclear medicine. Uh, so I wanted to know more about nuclear medicine and uh, understanding if there was the possibility to develop this patent and create a product out of it. I started to study the field and uh, hopefully I realized that there was a business opportunity to catch in parallel of the development of, the, uh, of this opportunity of this patent. From that business opportunity, Stefano created in 2002 the Advanced Accelerator Applications AAA company. The initially small headquarters were in saint genis pouilly France, just across the road from CERN's main site. The company has born close to CERN, of course. Uh, in, uh, the first product was a pure diagnostic product and uh, was a technology transfer uh, between uh, the academic world and the industry. So it was an industrialization of a manufacturing that made use of particle accelerators um, uh, for creating a drug make, named FDG, uh, fluorodeoxyglucose, that was used for the diagnosis of cancers and other disease. So uh, the feature of this drug is that it's a very short shelf life. So we have to produce it with particle accelerator because uh, the radiation that you generate with particle accelerators lasts only a couple of hours. You have to build a lot of labs that have particle accelerators in order to uh, make the drug available uh, to hospitals uh, around this lab. Today, AAA has 21 production sites in Europe, Israel and the United States with more than 500 employees in 13 countries around the world. From the beginning, the revenue from the sale of the diagnostic drugs was continuously reinvested in research. During our history, uh, we wanted to go to therapy. And uh, to go to therapy, we used a different isotope, lutetium-177. Our first drug, uh, Lutatera, um, is addressing neuroendocrine tumors. So now that the drug is approaching the market, uh, we expanded uh, into the US to be prepared to uh, address this bigger market. Living here in the US since a few years, I realized what uh, an alumni organization is. Uh, all of the big universities have uh, this organization and um, they are very important and I think CERN deserve to have uh, such an organization. I would be happy to be part of, uh, of this uh, organization. I will benefit from this network uh, to, to, to find back those contacts that we have lost. So excellent people around the world that have done something that I didn't know it might be useful uh, to meet again and to exchange our experience. I think it's really essential to have, uh, to have access to people who have done this, has moved from research into industry. And uh, I think this uh, alumni organization can give a great opportunity to young researchers that can uh, think about uh, making this move and uh, maybe interacting with uh, the alumni organization. They might have the opportunity to uh, understand uh, the differences, what they can be expecting from this move. I think uh, the, what I can uh, most uh, Expect is probably the contribution people like me can, can give to the, to the young uh, researchers that want to uh, um, probably go away from CERN and, and looking for different opportunities with the background that they had uh, in, in, in research.
concerned.